I want to address new believers or people that may be going to church for the first time or they're intimidated to, about going to church because they're lacking knowledge or the way the clothes they have or um, you know something or, or past experience at church and I just want to encourage you please don't be intimidated don't give up on God you know this is a love letter Jesus Yeshua died for you because of your sin because of my sin he died for me because of my sin when you realize that and and it doesn't change doesn't happen overnight this but you know the the laws and stuff and loving one another you learn this is a baseline for what love is it's not an end all or you know and there are people that have gone to church for years and don't know this book there are and like with the clothing you know there are some that are gonna there are some men and women that are gonna wear heels and makeup and jewelry and uh, try to compare themselves to each other and play the fashion show game uh, or people that suit and tie I mean I'm uh, there are congregations that that I've been to personally that wear it's suit and ties and and dresses and makeup and heels and all this stuff that it, it's just kind of the culture of the place but don't give up on God because of of that know that he loves you and know that that he accepts you and it may take it may take a while sometimes to find a church you feel comfortable with. I would say that, you know, unfortunately there are a lot of churches where people just don't, they don't realize that they need to go talk to people outside their quick or outside of, the, you know, newcomers. I wish people would, would, would engage newcomers more at churches, but unfortunately, unfortunately that doesn't tend to be the case in a lot of time a lot of times some church it's different in different churches but uh, you know you get what you give it you will probably be more happy in a group if you make the effort to go say hi to someone or or whatever and uh, maybe ask them to introduce you to their friends or you know just try try to engage people don't always expect them to come to you I mean it'd be nice if it happened that way that people would always acknowledge you but the fact is it doesn't always happen um, and I'm sorry if you've been those of you that have had bad experiences in churches I'm really really sorry that that happened to you don't give up on God because of the way someone treated you or church politics or you know those different things because it's we're flawed as human beings we're flawed we all are it's about this love letter it's about you know this is a love letter that Christ, that God wrote to say hey I died I, I sent my son for your sins and I put my Ruach my Holy Spirit upon you as you when you accept my son that I put my Ruach that you will learn to lo live a lifestyle of love which is basically what the Bible is about and to about keeping the feast and those sorts of things um, but just I realize that your people have bad experiences at church unfortunately and it and it's sad that that happens um, just know that don't be offended. 
that some people don't know this book. They don't they don't live this book. So they do some of the things, the backbiting, the the uh, gossip, all those sorts of things. It's unfortunate that it happens. Uh, if it's happened to you, I'm really, really sorry it has. Um, and I would just encourage you try to try different churches. See what where you feel comfortable. And once you come to the basic understanding, you might find that you need to go to a church that teaches more of the word, more than just come to Christ, come to Christ, come to Christ. Because, I mean, this book is fairly thick. It tells you, it gives you warnings about judgment and how Israel, when Israel turned away from God, what happened how they went into Babylon or Syria or um, you know these different things or how people enemies came upon them but how God was gracious and Abba which means daddy is he is very much he loves us People love to quote John 3.16 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever shall believe in him shall have everlasting life. That's the beginning. But it's not the end. It's, it's, it's part of our walk with him. And it takes time to, to learn. To learn to trust the Holy Spirit in your life. And uh, just please... Don't give up on God because of your experience in the church.